Hello and welcome to your Thursday evening weather forecast from the Met Office. Now let's start by having a look at the bigger picture for the next few days. We've got high pressure still out to the west, but low pressure generally dominating the picture, bringing some occluded fronts across the UK as we go through the next few days. And these will be bringing a focus for some outbreaks of rain or showers. But let's go back and look at what we've got coming this Thursday evening. We've got some showers still around across England and Wales, but these will slowly fade out as we go through tonight, allowing for plenty of clear spells to develop, especially into the early hours of Friday. But looking further northwest, there's a band of heavy, quite persistent rain in place to bring some strong blustery winds to northwest Scotland. And this will make its way southeastwards as we go into Friday morning. But if you are a keen gardener, you might want to think about what plants you've got out in the garden at the moment, because there's a chance of a rural grass frost tonight, particularly under those very clear skies for southern and eastern parts of England. We could see temperatures dropping into the low to mid single figures, particularly in rural areas. But where we've got that cloud, rain and stronger winds further northwest, temperatures generally staying in the mid single figures, if not nearly the double figures. Now, it'll be quite a wet commute for many people across Scotland on Friday morning, with that rain making its way southeastwards throughout the morning. Strong, blustery winds behind that with some heavy showers that could contain the odd bit of hail. And maybe you might even hear the odd rumble of thunder there too. Now, that rain will slowly sink its way southwards throughout Friday morning, but generally breaking up into showers as it does so, but mostly just introducing a bit more cloud further south. Ahead of this band of showers and cloud, we've got a bit more, a few more showers across southeastern parts of England as well. And they'll have made their way in from the west during the early part of the day, brightening up for southwest England later on on Friday afternoon. And looking at the temperatures for Friday, generally across the south, we're seeing temperatures around 16 to 18. So they feel pretty pleasant out of the breeze and in any prolonged sunshine. But further north across Scotland, we're struggling to get temperatures of around average highs of around 12 to 14 here and feeling even chillier in those blustery winds. Now, as we look into Friday evening, once again, we will see those showers easing across England and Wales. A bit more cloud in the picture, though, for Friday night as we go into Saturday, as we have another occluded front making its way southwards. So not such a chance of seeing a grass frost on Friday night as what we've got for this evening. This will all be followed, though, once again by further frequent heavy showers across northwestern parts of Scotland. There will still be some clear spells around, so in rural areas we could once again see temperatures dropping into the mid single figures. But as I say, probably not as cold as what we've got to come on Thursday evening. But under those cloudier skies, temperatures generally remaining in the double figures. So some brightness to start the weekend for many, with few showers mixed in as well, particularly across the southern parts of England. But they will fizzle out as we go throughout the rest of the day on Saturday. Showers most frequent and continuous across Scotland still, where they could be heavy at times. Decent sunny spells there across much of England and Wales throughout Saturday afternoon. And in any prolonged sunshine, we could see temperatures creeping into the low 20s. Thank you for listening and to keep up to date with the latest weather forecast from the Met Office, do check out our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Bye for now.